everybody is purge. What happens to comics when the movies, uh, you know, start to, to people get exhausted of the films? Now, we may, in fairness, we may be going through that period a bit right now. Um, it is hard to tell. Uh, there's lots of uh, clickbaity articles and videos like Marvel imploding, MCU dead, and that kind of stuff. But it's, it's, it's impossible to make that call right now. Um, yes, Black Widow underperformed, but how could not have? It, uh, it was delayed. It was a prequel. It was with a character who was dead. Uh, there's just, uh, you know, the, MC mo- the MCU movies, I think, I don't hear this a lot, but the, I think they're built on one premise and one promise. That is probably its biggest bait of all. And that is this idea that if you miss one, you're missing part of this overarching Kevin Feige, you know, tale. And you will, you'll basically, you won't be prepared for the next movie. And so even if you're not particularly interested in, in what the movie is, you still will go see it because you're, you're really honed in on the, you know, post credit scenes or the Easter eggs or the tiny little knot, like will Mark Ruffalo just, uh, wander through the scene at one point. I mean, I think that that's, there's, um, I think that there's an aspect to the MCU that, that functions that way where they, they, they really bait you into believing that if you, if you miss something, you're really going to miss something. So therefore, you know, watch them all. And with black widow, like, you know, the character's dead. So while that, that curiosity is still kind of there a little bit, like maybe in the post credit scene, we'll see that she's not dead or I, I don't know. It's just, it's not going to have the same, same impact, same draw. I think it's, it's Captain Marvel as a movie, you know, relatively unknown character. The advertising campaign for Captain Marvel was not great, meaning the trailers. However, Captain Marvel came out between the you know cliffhanger infinity war movie and the end game movie. And we saw in the, um, was in, in Infinity War, kind of the pushing on the little beeper for Captain Marvel's you know symbol from Fury. So it's like, okay, well, this is going to have a big, this is going to have a big impact into you know this movie. So I've got to watch it, and I think that definitely helped Captain Marvel. I mean, how could it not have helped Captain Marvel? Um, same thing with Black Panther coming up in Infinity War. That's part of what the MCU does. It's part of its uh, its gimmick, and I, I think that uh, so we may be going through a period right now. Where the movie, where comic book movies are getting tired. I mean, everybody's been predicting this for. What's funny? I, I was like, how long have people been predicting that comic book movies are are going to blow up and that uh, you know people are going to get tired of them? How how long is that? That, that how long has this been going on? And um, I, I went back and found articles since 2009. <laughs> 2009. There were articles like the, the superhero movie is going to burst 11 years ago. I mean, so people have been predicting that forever. And I think that you are, if you're predicting it now, you're, you're still being a little too, you're being too anxious with it. Um, it's, it's, I don't think it's a foregone conclusion that comic book movies are, are going to implode just yet. Uh, but, uh, you know, there are some signs. I think you are also looking at a year that has, you know, Black Widow delayed prequel, Shang-Chi, unknown character, bit of a risk, uh, Eternals. Now, I think Shang-Chi is going to wind up probably being the most popular of the three. But, um, you know, Eternals, I think, is a struggle. I mean, it's just it's a struggle of a concept. But they do have some actors in there that, that bring attention. So, so who knows? Uh, but I think it's too early to call it. But the, the, the question is, what happens to comics? If it, let's, let's assume for a moment that the comic book movies are imploding, that, that we are, or not imploding, but like people are tired of them, that we've seen too many, they've, they've just, they've thrown out just way too many, and people are, are looking for something new. I do think, by the way, that people are looking for something new. I do think that the you know, movie going audience is interested in, in some kind of new genre. Uh, I'm starting to suspect that that new thing that, that people are going to go after is, uh, is fantasy based. Like we're going to dive back into Lord of the Rings type territory. Um, you know, stuff like the Witcher performed really well. I, I, it, it's just, there, there's an interest there. Uh, maybe Amazon's Lord of the Rings, uh, series will, you know, strengthen that or kill it. I don't know. But I think, I think there's, I think we're going to get a little bit more of that. I think we haven't really gotten the glut of Game of Thrones ripoffs, uh, that, you know, we were promised. So who knows? Anyway, we'll, we'll find out. Would it be too much to just ask for kind of gritty noir crime dramas to be the next thing? Like that, that would be, I'd like that. 
you know, but anyway, um, I think that in terms of what happens to the comics, well, I, I think two things are going to happen which sound contradictory. Uh, for one, I think there's a good possibility the comics get better. I think if if the movies become less of a, uh, you know, less of a thing, if the movies become less dominant in this picture, then I think we might get back to longer form storytelling. I think we might, uh, you know, get rid of some of the constant reboots and the limited series and the other things. By the way, I did this video with Joe on limited series. I'm not against limited series. There's been wonderful limited series. There's been tons of them. Uh, my, my issue is that there are tons now and they have no soul to them. They, they're just, it's like, here, here's some, here you go. Here's another, here's, here's something. And they throw it out and the story is kind of inconsequential. It doesn't matter. There's no setup. There's no villain. It's, there's no anything. It's just, it's like, here's a moment in the life of some character and it, it doesn't, they don't matter. Um, that's, that's my problem with limited series. I, I love, a, if you could do a good story, good limited series, uh, that would be great. But that's, uh, that's, uh, not what, um, we get most of the time. I'm now hypersensitive because somebody said they can pick up the turn signal, uh, in the microphone. And, uh, and, uh, I just, I just used it. So I'm like, oh, I wonder if everybody's hearing that now. Probably. Anyway. Um, so I think on one hand, life gets better, uh, untethered from some of these, um, desires to kind of hit hit comics at the same time as, as the movies and and kind of coordinate some of that stuff. I think that uh, it will allow comics to once again open up to, like I said, long-form storytelling, plots, arcs, things that are ultimately healthy for comics. I think that's good. However, at the same time, um, I also think that if, uh, if, if comics or if the, if the movies struggle, then I think we're likely to get... Um, you know, le- there'll be less money in comics. It's, it's, there's go- which is already terrifyingly low. Um, there will be, I think problems where, uh, you know, there, there's, it, if you just, if you suddenly take out that, like, well, put it this way, we're seeing right now, Substack come in and offer, you know, checks to writers to kind of jump at it. And we're seeing a reaction of kind of jealousy and, and anger. And one of the things that's been kind of build, built up in the ego of uh, some creators, some and more, I know people get hit beat on the creators a lot, but it's 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 more like the Joe Casada level. I mean that that kind of group of people, uh, the staffers, if you will, um, they, part of their ego and their their kind of drive is the fact that uh, you know they have these big movies going out and they're part of this big system and they can hang their hat on that. If you pull that away. I think the uh, the resulting kind of anger jealousy stuff gets just insufferable. I, I mean, I think I, I think the behavior gets absolutely you know terrible, and I do think you 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 know you'll see a little bit less money. You'll see a little you'll see a, a pullback of some titles. What was it in September? DC's putting out seventy five comics more than Marvel in September. It's uh, it's it's crazy what's happened, but. Um, but so I, I think it's I, I think there's a chance that what happens is parts of the industry crater to some extent, and that's a, that's a very strong word I know. But parts of the industry really uh, struggle, but the resulting what's left behind becomes healthier because suddenly the model shifts to well, all right, I need to tell big stories again. I can't uh, rely on you know I'm not getting some kind of corporate mandate from my boss and Marvel to throw out a five issue limited series in time to more or less coordinate with, uh, you know, Loki on Disney plus. I mean, you're going to have to get, um, you, it's, it's just going to change the model a little bit. And I think that, I think that part will be healthy. I think overall, if the movies, um, dropped a bit, I think the result would be, uh, slightly positive. Uh, but there would definitely be, there would be a lot of howling and screaming and craziness in the, in the interim. And people would lose their jobs, and that's no good. And, and I think it would be, you know, see, so, so I don't want to, I'm not rooting for the movies to start to struggle, uh, but I can't deny, I think there would be some positive benefits if they did. So that's that's what I think what would happen. So what, what do you think would happen? What, what, what happens if the movies uh, do actually, not what, you know, alarmists say, but the movies actually do start to struggle? What, uh, what, what do you, what's your prediction? What happens to the comics? Do they, do they keep going? Do they vanish? Does Disney say no more money for you? What, what, what goes on? Let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe, of course.
and thanks for listening.